Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Monday, April 26th, and today we are finishing up our study of Psalm 119. We are doing the last two letters, which are Sin and Shin, and the last one is Ta. So this is what it says. Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart trembles at your word. That's an interesting place for the person to be in. Um, the rulers are trying to persecute him. There's no reason for the rulers to be persecuting him, but that's not what makes him tremble. What makes him tremble is the power of God's word. What makes him tremble is the holiness of God's word, the awe of who God is. That's that reverential fear, that fear of the Lord. That's the only healthy fear to have. 162. I rejoice in your promise like one who finds great spoil. So it's saying, I, I praise you for your promise. Verse 163, I hate and detest falsehood, but I love your law. His, the heart, his heart is just yearning for God's holy word. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing can make them stumble. So he's saying, even though there's all this persecution around me and they're trying to put me in jail and all this stuff, there's great peace because I love your law and nothing's gonna make me suck dumble because I know I have your law. I wait for your salvation, Lord, and I follow your commands. That's waiting for the Messiah. We gotta keep in mind, this is the Old Testament. The Messiah hasn't come yet. So he's waiting for the Messiah and he continues to follow the Lord's commands. I obey your statutes for I love them greatly. He's so in love with God's word. This is a fantastic place to be. And as you study God's word, you will get to that point. I obey your precepts and your statutes, statutes for all my ways are known to you. So he's saying, Lord, I obey your precepts. I obey your statutes and all my ways are known to you. He knows he can't hide anything from God. And so he does everything he can to obey him. Moving on to the letter Ta. May my cry come before you, Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. He's saying, Lord, help me to understand. Help me to have those God goggles that I can understand things the way you understand things. Or at least through your eyes, understand things the way you would have them shown to me. 170. May my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. He's saying, Lord, I'm claiming your promises. Deliver me according to those promises. 171, may your lips overflow with praise for you teach me your decrees. He's saying, Lord, help me to just praise you and praise you as I go through my day. May my tongue sing of your word for all your commands are righteous. He wants to sing God's word. You know, if you put some music to it, it becomes much easier to memorize. And a lot of times I'll be reading through the Psalms and all of a sudden there's a tune in my head and it's because I've sung a song that was that Psalm and I already had it memorized. I just didn't know where it was in the Bible. May your hand be ready to help me for I have chosen your precepts. He's saying, Lord, help me through this. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. We can rest and have comfort in reading his holy word. Let me live that I may praise you and may your laws sustain me. He's saying, Lord, help me to praise, continue to, uh, to live so that I can keep praising you and that your laws will continue to help me to have that. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant for I have not forgotten your commands. So he's saying, Lord, if I stray, seek me out. Let me be what that one sheep that you leave the 99 for to come seek for, and look for me. So how do you pray this? You pray about your passion for God's holy word. You pray that you would have an ignite, that your passion for that would ignite, that you would be able to dig in with like a ravenous appetite for God's word. And that happens as you deepen your relationship with Christ. That's why the prayer closet is so very important. Let's close in prayer. Father God, I thank you for this message. And I thank you that 
Your word is something that we can rest in. It is tried. It is true. We know that your promises are going to come to fruition, and we praise you for preserving your word so that we can have it in our hands. Lord, we love you so much. Help us to continue to have an appetite for your word and help it to become just ravenous that we can't get enough of your holy word. Help us to keep those God goggles on as we go through our day so that we don't miss anything that you're calling us to do. Have a wonderful, and Lord, I just thank you so much for this wonderful day and all the blessings that are going to be coming. In Jesus' name, amen. So as you go into your prayer closet, look for a ways that you can pray over this and that you can pray for your desire for God's holy word. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.